This is a HeadGum Podcast. Hello and welcome to Perfect Person, the show where I'm perfect and you're, of course, a person. Well, today I reused my socks. And I didn't wear them that much, but sometimes I think a sock a day can keep the laundry away. So but if that's you not just, what you did. You have a sock, sock a day. day. You have a little sock that you used only for the afternoon part, and it was. You did the that. opposite. You yeah. didn't do a sock. You did a, a sock, sock two days. Two days. A sock two day keeps the laundry <laughs> away. Two days. You're still saying today, which is one day. A sock two days keeps the laundry no. at bay. Correct. Two no, that's correct. That's correct. Because I you shouldn't had, do it, but that's correct. Well, it wasn't too stinky because I only had it a little bit it wasn't yesterday. What? I wasn't too stinky because I had it a little bit yesterday, and then I wore. You had it a little bit yesterday. I put it on my foot a little bit yesterday, but it wasn't for so long that it became stunk. What did you do during those hours? Mostly sit. At home. At home. You don't have to. There wear was socks a drive. There was a brief drive. You know what you. We got to get you some Socks, home slippers. I would say we got to like, get you some Uggs. I wanted to get the Uggs and I wanted to get the home slippers. It makes your feet sweaty. Yeah, but no socks. So you're just going to have to shower. We live in an old no laundry. We live in an old house and we're experimenting with the idea of doing a houseless shoe hold. Let's hear that again. We would like to do a houseless shoe hold where we don't wear a shoe inside of the house. Yeah. And so you're held. You're holding your shoe. <laughs> That's in separate the household. though. You're just you guys are kind of like workshopping like what if we held each other from time to time? What if we held each other? And also didn't wear shoes. Exactly. That's interesting. Well, those melodious voices that you're hearing are none other than Jeffrey James and Riley Anspa. Ugh. Uh, welcome to the show. Note I'm sorry to do this. You have a note this these, early in the I'm show? I'm so that sorry. I just really him. feel like the these mics should be here so that I can face Riley and not lose the... Uh, oh, that's interesting. You yeah. can move. So if you no, scoot to the middle of the seat, move, move over a little bit. This is a you This issue. is a you problem. This and I'm going to teach you why. Not, not really. Him. Move it's over a, a little to the seat, you. right? And then there we go. No, okay. It's <laughs> way too far of a move. It's way too close to me. Grab the mic and move You can move it closer to you. You said move this way. You can move it closer to you. There we go. And then tilt but it. But I don't want him to. Miles, actually, I have a note. No, I can speak you make for her. sure? No, no, no. Miles, I have a note Basically, for you. My can you make sure that he's yours. not as close to me? Because it's like now yeah. I don't no, I want that. that. No, because it's not about feeling safe or joy. It's I'm about sorry. getting. It's always about feeling safe. You're canceled. Hashtag Jeff is over party. <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> You're done. You're done. Because <laughs> I said it's. <laughs> Jeff is. Fine. This is an no, ambush. <laughs> You guys we set this him. up. We Riley was him. late on purpose. It was all scripted to get oh. me to say. It's amazing it's how not I can be late safe. and I'm not canceled. Oh. Yeah, it's interesting how that works, actually. <laughs> on your phone? Sorry, I was seeing if my wife called me. <laughs> yeah. Because the baby goes to bed at this time and I was making sure he was okay. Baby's bedtimes are so funny to me. It's <laughs> so They're early. Funny Why is that to funny you? to you? 7 p.m. and oh, they have to yeah. be asleep it's just so funny I guess because it, daddy's gonna take an edible and watch a tv show <laughs> <laughs> and so baby's going down at seven all right and he's waking up around six, six. a.m yeah so that's I a lot of that's sleep. a lot of so sleeps through the night yeah it's a little a lot of sleep for a little guy who's trying to become a big guy i get that but most babies don't sleep through the night at this age. sometimes he will wake up uh once and he'll put himself back down like he'll be like eh. he'll tuck himself in he'll, he'll kind of he'll tuck like himself in he'll have a nap a and a tea and a yeah. bottle yeah um, but no, he's usually pretty good. But guys, welcome to the show. You've both been on the show as guests in the past. It's easy. And this is our first time meeting in person, sure. which is crazy. That is insane. <laughs> the the sketches on HeadGum are done over Zoom. All no, there's any. Well, th some of them are shot in the room on the day, but we just basically do like a a, a slate shot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it'll be like so she'll take up one half of a shot in yeah. the kitchen at the HeadGum studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you. And do. then later that day, I'll come in and do the other. And half that's of the not. Slate. It's not even a scheduling thing. It's not like oh no, we you miss each other. Be. It's like. That's part of it. That's good enough. Yeah. What do you Ultimately, mean? Sorry, that's, well, part, that's of it. part of it. <laughs> that's like part of it. Is you don't want to be in the same room at the same no, time. No, the sketch is better because we do the slate shot. That's what she's saying. Because you don't. And want to, also, what you said. Yeah. You don't want to use the chemistry. What the chemistry? So basically, it's a show where we give advice. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the first thing I should say before, because the phones are ringing off the dang hook. Well, they were still ringing. Um, Riley was late. So it makes it just, it I mean, like, I'm I feel like dramaturgically. Anyone sorry. who's not 
on the Patreon is going to think that we hate each other. No, drunk Whereas not sorry. even 10 minutes ago, we were like heaping yeah, praise upon I'm each other, sorry. being like, you're so successful. You're a handsome We man. were praising each other. Praising each other? Yeah, because men don't get compliments. I'm fucking men don't sorry. Ever get I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole. I'm fucking sorry. sorry. You don't think that men get compliments? <laughs> sorry. We got him again. <laughs> He's fucking canceled <laughs> twice, dude. He's never going to come That's back from cancelable. this. That's not cancelable. He's never going to come back from this. Can I just say one thing about men? Men never. They never get, get compliments. Like, <laughs> Well, I do try to compliment. Deserve. You know, he Jeff gave me a couple comp copies and I threw them on back. That's nice. Riley, by the way, I want to say the bangs, they still be banging. Thank you so much. I actually. That's I, not cancelable. I, Riley, I, oh we literally God. have talked about the bangs before because she mentioned it on this show. I wanted to get a trim before today, <laughs> but I couldn't get it. And so I literally have one on Tuesday and I'm like, damn, I had the thought as I was scheduling. I'm like, I wish I could have gotten the trim <laughs> That's before so funny. the show. You could have been like, yeah, you could have had a bang trim. But now debut. they're too long. Mm. They're too long. So the phone's are ringing. Yeah, you were saying. Uh, yeah. Have we kind of like ruined it? B, well, we were talking in the group chat before because, and a really exciting part of this episode is afterwards, we're doing a friendship dinner. Yeah. In a way. Which is it's like, like a bracelet, but more edible. temporary. More temporary <laughs> and, ma and made of meat. <laughs> and that, yeah, a lot of ball gaggy. Beef. I don't eat beef or pork. Oh, you, I, you're going to hate the dinner. I was wondering about you're gonna that. You're going to hate the dinner. You don't eat beef or pork. I don't eat beef or pork, but we're going to Korean barbecue. I'm going to have so many great sides. What about shrimp? You do shrimp? I do shrimp. Oh, what we'll do shrimps. Cod. We can bring salt cod. Yeah, yeah I brought some frozen bring? saltwater cod. <laughs> <laughs> can I just slap it on real quick? That means, hey, all more beef for me and Jeff. Yeah, there it you go. It would be so funny to bring your own produce and then start grilling it <laughs> slightly and they're like, making pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're doing a friendship dinner. Yeah. Which is sort of huge for us as a group, I think. We've been wanting to do this for a while. As we a have. once -ler, you said. As a once Because yeah. we only, we had drinks once -ler before. But we haven't done the full beef. No, we haven't done the full beef. We haven't done the full Monty. We haven't all gotten <laughs> naked right. bon together. What was that? Bonchon. The full Monty? That's never going to happen. Well, you don't think we're I'm all saying we, naked I together? never said it would. I'm just saying we haven't. I can yeah, picture, but, actually, I mean, I pick a picture like maybe we do like a late weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how about like hey guys, a couple years down the road? Can we do like a how's how's Saturday for like a full Monty? Like a full Monty, <laughs> and by that you mean more dinners or? I mean like we're being all naked in front of each other. <laughs> like I, don't I said, do that. It's, a, it's a lake weekend, and we're like, oh, well, we'll skinny, and yeah. it's like everyone's involved. We'll skinny. It's well, not sexually, but it's also that's worse. It's not just how that's our loved ones too. It's our loved ones too, and not even to mention Jeff's family. <laughs> Not even to mention at the lake weekend. Is also my gonna... father's immunocompromised, by the way, so he's he not going to be naked. in a lake. He can't get naked. He can't be near he can't algae. Be... He can't oh. be near algae. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> of course. My father's immunocompromised, so he the man cannot be near anywhere moss. near moss, <laughs> sea or otherwise. That's why if we're going to be anywhere, we're going to be on a beach. Okay. Okay, Mickey. or we're doing it. Not only do we have to make it through the dinner, we have to make it through this episode and have a good time, and then afterwards go to dinner. Correct, and then by the time we get to dinner, we'll be spent. We won't have anything to talk about. That I was wondering about that, and that's why I, th I was thinking about <laughs> movies that I've seen recently. No! Because so I was like, what if we run out? And I'll say, oh, I saw a movie recently. Talk to me. What? Not even the movie. You're just like, I yeah. saw a movie. Talk to, <laughs> Talk to me. me I, saw a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a movie AMA. I saw a movie Talk recently. To me. Talk to I me. I saw a movie. <laughs> it had a beginning, middle, and an end. Just like an arc. Well, guys, um, basically you're on the show and uh, you're perfect, clearly. Um, but what makes you perfect? I dressed for the job that I wanted. Yeah, you look nice. I said I look like a Gucci. Well, you do look like a Gucci. You mean family member or model? or Model. I think Jeff looks really nice. He's wearing cowboy boots and we tried to bring it up a couple times earlier and he said, I'll wait for the regular episode to talk about it. And here we are. So this is what you, you just wanted. Okay. Um, I feel perfect today because I painted my nails and at first when I did the left hand, sorry, when I did my right hand with my left hand, it looked really bad, but I cleaned it up and now it's fine. So it's like I can paint my nails red and it like you wouldn't be able to tell that like, oh, this hand was drastically worse at first. Don't they, look yeah, too closely. So you painted your nails really nice. I painted my nails really nice and no, like a very bold she color. Said it, she said it the way she meant to say it. So let's take it out of Thank word. Thank you so much. 
Because you were like, so you painted, you like kind of. Oh, so you did you it nice. Sit downs, yeah. You downs kind of like <laughs> trivialized it in and a I way. And I know that it looks like a burgundy, that was but like, it's not oh, a reduction. Oh, uh, misogyny alert. No way. Miles He's is gone. <laughs> He's <laughs> gone. He did it. No way. Oh, I'm canceled. <laughs> this is crazy on my own show. <laughs> we did it. I love that. We did it. I love that. Yeah. So Jeff has boots. I've got claws. Um, yeah. And and that means we've got claws. <laughs> oh, sorry. I wore my socks from yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wore my sock Tuesday. Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Well, um, got it. It sounds like we got three perfect people. <laughs> three, <laughs> three, perfect, <laughs> three perfect bees in a pod. Mm -hmm. um, and so we got to get to the calls because the phones are ringing off the hook as they right. were earlier, as they are now. Mm -hmm. um, but before we do, if you like the show, and you're listening to it right now. Keep it to yourself. Then you <laughs> don't tell anybody about if it. If you don't, love, if you're obsessed with the show, like it, keep it to yourself. And just keep your show to yourself. Don't share it with people. <laughs> um, and if you love the show, consider joining us on Patreon, where there's an ad-free extended version of this episode that you're listening to right now, where Jeff and I wax for an additional 20 to 30 minutes. Just two guys in the studio enjoying each other while Riley's Uber is sort of on the way. And if, Going and, 17 miles per hour yep. to 35 miles per hour. And so, if, you, uh, if you join that, there's also bonus episodes every Friday where I call back people from the show and I get wild and wacky and weird and I do special themed episodes where I get crunk. Drunk and high at the same time or? Drunk and kunk. On earth. <laughs> so... <laughs> so So uh, hit up the Patreon for all that juicy little goodness. But until then... We've got people that need help. Yep. And they are dangling from a tree. They are Sorry? calling 911 and I rerouted the calls to the studio. Help! I've been hit! I've been hit? I... You think you're, you're the first call when someone gets run over by a truck? Help! Wow. Okay, we've got a real, got a real firecracker here. Miles, I'll make this quick. I haven't had sex in a very long time. I'm quite tight. I'm talking tight where you need to like take two cars and like attach like a uh like what what do you, what would you say a chain insert them into my labia and pull cars in other directions and I don't know what to do because I'm quite frankly fiending for the penis. What do I do? Thank you so much, Miles. We should have gotten dinner first, right? <laughs> that's the raunchiest call that's ever happened on the show. I've it has been to hit. Be. <laughs> Help! I've been hit. I've I'm fiending for the penis. I'm fiending. Oh. So, yeah, wow. This person sounds like they really need to casually date. <laughs> That's maybe all that needs to be said, you know? And, uh, and um, I'm sure we've got oodles of advice, so we're going to have to give them a call back. There we go. Hello? Hello. You called Perfect Person, and I'm here to call you back. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm obviously here with Jeff and Riley, and we know that you're fiending for penis, and so <laughs> we're going to need to hear your story about how good that it do. Sorry? I'm sorry. That sentence right there. Um, you're absolutely correct. I am, in fact, fiending. I got it. So, <laughs> so do you, why don't you tell us a little bit about your <clears throat> your sort of dating situation right now and why there's been sort of a drought as of late? Okay, so right now, I just moved to a new city, and it's been a while. And I feel like a lot of the guys in this city, just it's not working. It's Something's not clicking. They're all like, I don't know, I, I'm I'm trying to find, you know, not necessarily the one, but somebody a little bit taller than like five four. And it seems that this city has something in the water. They're all a little short. So uh, sorry, hi, Riley here. So is the issue that it's just like you haven't found the person you want to date, or that you're not like getting it? Yeah. Or like, are you getting mm, it, but I it's not the get that you wanted to be got? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's... No, it's that one. Yeah, option C. Okay. So you it's have just, been not, getting it a little. You know, it's just but... not. It's not getting. Got it. The getting okay. is the not getting hitting. Is thought, if you will. Well, here's the thing that I'm wondering is, um, yeah, what kind of person are you looking for? Because I feel like geographically, we're going to be able to help you find them if we kind of know what the vibe is. Are you looking for somebody who's going to sort of, um, you know, not be emotionally available, but is sort of down to clown? Yeah, definitely somebody who's not emotionally available is my type for sure, historically. 
But maybe that's the problem. Well, uh, right. So I guess it's like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I meant, I meant that as more as like, I understand. I've been there. Yeah. Um, We've all been there, I think. Jeff? Uh, usually the sex is perfect and the people are available emotionally. No, I'm kidding. I've been here. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, have you checked out Field? It's a dating app. For, Sorry, what was that? Have you gotten on the dating app Field? This is my real advice. Field? F-E-E-L-D. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That, you know, oh, I, yeah. that's, I th- Oh, we've tried them all. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Look, here's what I'll say. The dating app game can sometimes feel like you're playing Pac-Man at the arcade until the wee hours of the night. That sounds awesome. Though. Well, but then you kind of <laughs> gets that Pac-Man's not going to give it to you hard. Different issues. <laughs> but basically, I will say that I found that often my advice for people who are just like, look, I just want to get it. Yeah. yeah. Stay out. Swear. Stay out right. at the club long Until enough. The, stay out long enough. If you're at a club at the wee hours of the morning, you're probably gonna kiss. But the yeah, thing but is, it doesn't like a problem a floor make out. But it doesn't sound like your issue is not that you're not getting it. It's, it's that it's not good enough. That it's the quality is not good of the getting it. But that's why I'm saying so, something like yeah. Field or something like Fet Life, where you can like line up with someone who specifically shares what you're into. Yeah. And then the sex just will be better. Communi- like the communication will be better and then yeah. you'll get to do the exact things. And even if it's not that kinky, you'll get to do the exact things that you want versus taking a chance at whoever is left at the club at 2 a.m. Yeah, because the club, um, for lack of a better term, and you said this, penis. Didn't say that. <laughs> she said, because no, she said she was oh, at the beginning. Yeah, sorry, I blocked it out. The club P. <sighs> That's worse. <laughs> okay. So Just, there is this guy. Oh, there is a guy. <laughs> Well, okay. So this is this is again the problem is that I'm not looking for anything serious, but somehow the serious people keep finding me. So mm-hmm. for example, I've been talking to this guy very very casually, nothing serious whatsoever. I feel like I haven't been flirty, giving flirty vibes or whatever, but maybe that's just my personality. However, today he surprised me and gave me a book with a handwritten note in it, which like normally would make a girl's heart like melt. I would be on my knees doing literally whatever. However, I kind of just wanted to like, I, it gave me the ick, but yeah. like, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. It gave you the ick because he wrote you a sweet, thoughtful heart. No, heartfelt I know, what, I know what you're I saying. For sure. I know. It sounds so bad. That no, 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 it doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't. Because I know what you're saying, because it's like, if it's the right person or yeah. it's like, if it's someone who you actually yeah. want something serious with, then it's right. like, oh my God, that it's like, that is so sweet. It is so thoughtful. I would mm. love for someone who it's like, I am romantically interested in, but when it's just like, I just want to yeah. get fucked. It's like that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's if, like if that's if not the vibe. Like the one, mm-hmm. then that would be like so cute. Like that would be literal like when Harry met Sally vibe. Yeah, yeah. However, yeah. that's not what I'm really looking for right now. Yep. And it was just kind of like this is cute, but not from you. Are you talking to people up front saying, "Hey, this is exactly what I want," and then they're yeah. going against that? Yeah, then I don't know what that yeah. problem is. Okay. Yeah, no, that's wacky. I mean, I get what you mean, where it's just like, yeah, you gotta be aligned on what you need. I'm sorry, Jeff's shaking his head. I think I Miles doesn't. Means. Riley and I think Miles doesn't get it. <laughs> Look, I was, I used to be out there in the wild. Okay, using my peen. <laughs> what is this show? <laughs> okay, so. Basically, I think that, yeah, like what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find people who are specifically down for exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. And I think that a good way to do that is honestly setting the table slash Harsh. tone at the beginning of the interaction. You're being like, yeah, look, I'm just kind of out here like I was dating this person. Like, it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? If you've got a friends with benefits situation or whatever, you're sort of just setting the table in tone based on your conversational skills. Yeah. Being like, oh, yeah, like, are you dating anybody right now? Like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're uh, casifying. Yeah. If you're putting a, you know, a pizza on the table, you're not putting out a salad appetizer. That's right. Don't fork. put a salad you're out there. You're not setting the table no. with a white tablecloth. What do you mean right? you don't eat? Like other things. Oh my with. god! Well, she no, I know what no, you're she saying. just wants him to eat one thing. Exactly right, and it's pizza. Yeah, yeah. I just want to be pizza. 
and I suddenly I'm a mixed, I'm a mixed salad and I've got That's really good. some appetizers and dessert and I just want to be a pizza. You just want to be a pizza. You just want to be a pizza. Honestly, I believe in this for you and my advice is, yeah, set the table. Yeah. Make sure people are aware and honestly, yeah, the field app, maybe that's a thing. But also I think just making it known upon first interaction, like if you're at a bar or something, just like, yeah, like I'm just kind of getting wild and I'm, you know, out, the, out here in these streets and I'm ready for it, and I and don't want any notes. It sounds like you can't help it that like these people are just like yeah. wanting to give you books. You're They're want. It's like even though you're magnetic. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh sorry. Oops. And so if that were to happen, Oopsies. I think it's like Oopsies. I wore my carnelian today. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. And so I think if that's the case, and you just want to go to that town go to the pound town, then I think it's like, then I think you just need to like then cut it off. Be like, cool, this yeah. was great. And then you move on to the next, wow. um, that next uh, pizza eater, you know? And then I think just also, if you're having sex that isn't as good as you, what you want, I think like it can start with you communicating more. Like I think most people are coachable. Uh, if the first couple times aren't ideal you can coach them to be better for what you like verbally and physically and then if it doesn't work just move on there's too many attractive people and that you could find attractive and there's too many pe people who would find you attractive clearly that it's like don't waste your time with yeah. bad sex and if you have good sex then just keep having good sex but I'll, and you mm -hmm. you can turn mediocre sex into fine sex and you can turn and i don't know you can keep good sex going <laughs> okay yeah. All right, I'm, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Okay, that was good. illegible. That was but... illegible, what Jeff said. <laughs> I think it was really <laughs> you good. Turn a, if you, but I if believe you in a you. plus two XP token to <laughs> good sex, it'll be fine. Yeah, I just, you can coach people into what feels best for you and what turns you on the most is my point. Communication and is the best foreplay. People don't need to be perfect fits for you on the first fuck. You can like be like, hey, I actually really like this. Or like, hey... Uh, we should, you know, maybe we can like use these keywords and buzzwords in our dirty talk and like that, whatever gets you off and it'll, it'll work enough to be, be having in the meantime, if you have like a couple day players, you can turn them into repertory pay players now. And, uh, they're saying that I don't understand it. No, I think he's, I mean, I just heard you sort of really reveal a lot about how it is you get down. I view the industry. I view the industry of <laughs> pounding. Of pleasure or of the industry, passion. The industry or of pleasure. Yes. Is, is, yeah, I like I that. trust you'll it's figure it out. to have I fun. trust you'll fit. I trust you'll figure it out, but thank you so much for calling in. I really do appreciate it. And you have the absolute best night. <laughs> oh my gosh, you too. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Ooh. Bada bing, bada boom, another happy customer. I don't think so. I don't think we gave <laughs> coherent or good advice. Because <laughs> the problem was hard to We advice, told yeah. her that she needs to get her pizza ate at the <laughs> pound. And, and then that, she can't be putting salad on the table when she just wants her pizza. Yeah. Don't set. Yeah. So don't set a, don't, don't set put a the, flan on the table. When all you want is that. When all you want is just to get, get a stuffed Fuck. calzone. Get when fucked. All when get all you want get is to get a stuffed calzone. <laughs> We've got another caller here. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Miles. Um, so my problem is that I have a big pitch perfect esque drama going on. Uh, rival acapella groups. So I'd love your advice. Thank you so much. Pitch Perfect desk acapella drama going on at college. Did you do acapella, Riley, in college? I did not. Um, really? I knew you were going to be surprised by that. I literally, I was about to even say, I was about to even preface it and be like, Miles, you'd be shocked to hear. Like, I knew that you were going to be like, huh, that's weird. Um, no, I didn't. Cause I already, I went to theater school. So that's like the kind of the equivalent of yeah. doing it. Right. Um, that's terrible to have. Jeff just kind of like just lounged out. Yeah. And really? Um, no, I didn't do acapella, <laughs> but <laughs> I love pitch perfect. I do like pitch perfect. Yeah. Did you guys do acapella? I didn't, but I sort of was on the fringes of the space. Jeff, I auditioned. They put their ear up to my lips and I didn't make the cut. There are two types of people in this world, okay? Those who openly fart in front of their partner or those who are turning up the TV to actually drown out the sounds 
of the wind you broke. And I am obviously the freaking open farter, but luckily there's a third option for your awkward grumps and gurgles and farts and winds, and it's called Symbiotic Plus. Ritual created a clinically studied three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic to help support a balanced gut microbiome. I have been popping a little Symbiotic Plus every freaking morning for the last week. But I'm a guy with acid reflux and I'm a guy that's eating sort of whatever I can get my hands on. Doesn't matter if it's sugary or acidic. So my gut biome is constantly a mess and I'm gonna need all the help that I can get. And that's why I turn to Symbiotic Plus. It's a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic with two of the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains to support the relief of mild and occasional bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Why include a postbiotic? It provides fuel to the cells that make up the gut lining and supports a healthy gut barrier. It's a delayed release capsule designed to help survive the harsh conditions of the upper GI tract for delivery to your colon, an ideal place for probiotics to grow and thrive. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide, your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game. That's why Ritual is offering my listeners 30% off during your first month. Visit ritual.com slash perfect person to start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today. Hello? Hello, you called Perfect Person, and I'm here to call you back. Obviously. Oh, my God. You are in need of some help, and I'm here with Riley and Jeff to solve your acapella oh my God, hi. problems. You know hi. What I mean? hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. How are you guys? We're doing so very good. But About to eat but how are No, but how are you? Yeah, how are you doing, by the way? <laughs> I am uh, great. Uh, I'm... Uh, in an acapella group, obviously, on a college campus. Um, and this year, I'm on the executive board, which is very exciting. Ooh, oh, congratulations. That is really <laughs> exciting, by the way. I know that executive Thank board is sort of like a huge deal acapella-wise. Exactly, yes. It is a very big deal. But yeah, it's my senior year. And so, obviously, you guys know, like, in Pitch Perfect, they go to ICCAs, that competition and thing. Yeah. yeah. We do the exact same thing. So, it's nice. like, it's exactly the same. Gotcha. Um, and so, and so yeah. what is the drama that is currently embroiling the acapella community? Oh my gosh. Okay. So one of the groups um, who is our group's rival, I would say, they had a bit of a, like a falling out this year. Um, and so like a bunch of people ended up quitting and there's a lot of bad blood there. And um, they were like the top group on campus, right? So they thought they were hot shit now that that group has kind of fallen apart our group is like kind of on the up and up like to be like the best on campus which is really exciting Whoa. um and we had a bunch of them kind of like audition to be part of our group and <gasps> kind of like switch sides and wow. so, like, oh here we go <laughs> get them so being part of exec like i listen on auditions and that kind of stuff so i just want to know like what the best way to kind of like go about that without being like rude and trying to be like a good member of the community, but also being like, there's been some drama here, you know? Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. So how do you sort of bridge the gap, bridge the two families? But you are in the power position, maybe. Yeah, these people exactly. crawling back towards you. I mean, first of all, I have to know what was the falling out? Why did the previous group crumble? Well, there was some drama with like one member of the group, basically. And I, I think... Part of the reason egg. that there was bad blood is because like one one person was the drama and everyone else was trying to kind of like make excuses for that person. Yeah. Um, but at a certain point, they just couldn't do that anymore. And what were the excuses that they were making? Like, it sounds like- Dog ate my voice. There's something- Dog ate my voice. <laughs> dog ate my voice. The dog actually <laughs> ate my voice, Correct. actually. Were they singing flat? Like, what was the mm. drama? What was the specific scenario that people were making excuses about? Were they like a creepy um, person? like mean um and like actually the key is that i actually auditioned for that group my sophomore year of college <gasps> um and during callbacks he was kind of just like staring at me with like dagger eyes very very judgy Ooh. kind of like doesn't want anyone new in the group and i think that was where like a lot of the toxicity at came auditions from, but, yeah. <laughs> at, at auditions doesn't want anyone <laughs> new in the group yeah. I actually don't think we should take anybody. What, Darren? That's <laughs> no, so funny. exactly. Would yeah. would if so, I mean this is a little I, crazy. Yeah. But what a fair way of auditioning 
be blindfolded. Yeah, blind like, audition. Like the voice. Oh, like no, do the voice style. That's a great idea. Why Best voice more, wins for sure is fair. Why don't acapella groups do that more often? That's a great idea. Because we we actually do blind audition. Oh. Um, so we have them stand behind like a whiteboard and we don't see their face or anything. Um, you see their shoes. But we yep. do. We do, we do see their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so the shoes are everything uh, yeah. for this acapella group. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So so you do do blind auditions. I mean, so what are your basic, basically your concerns are that you're sort of like t- taking in people from defunct acapella groups. I mean, honestly, I would say that probably the people who are auditioning from other acapella groups like are going to have a leg up over the other, you know, just no, like, exactly. I'm a random student right. named Stuart. And I think I have Literally. nice pipes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then I'm not going to have a chance. Yeah. Stuart, these- no, but I think Stuart Little would have a better chance over like the rival. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, I, so true. <laughs> Stuart Little, because he has a nice voice. Best yeah. voice wins. I really feel that way. I think you it's not put- a competition. It's like an audition. But best voice wins <laughs> a spot. Not- I think take them, poach them, win ICCAs. Kill them with kindness. They won't expect it. After all the all oh my the God. shit that's happened, are you kidding me? You can haze you them come once in they're there, on like, the truth. Being so nice and welcoming, they're gonna be like, "Whoa, maybe we're the monsters." Yeah, <laughs> I'm the monster. I think that probably you should audition. Are you no way. I'll say that to him because he will that? audition. That's the fucked up part. Is well, he will? Yeah. Obviously, I will. <laughs> Me yeah. auditioning for fucking high school, college acapella group now as a thirty year old man. Miles, that's the next I, YouTube I video. Die. That's maybe the next YouTube video. To be honest, I spent two million dollars on an audition. <laughs> <laughs> I went down to USC to show these skinny bitches. <laughs> you, f- you, you do oh fine. <laughs> I do medium. Slipping through my fingers, fingers all, all the time. time. I had to. <laughs> Automatically in the group. Are you kidding me? Automatically. <laughs> okay, and here Riley is sitting there, and she literally sang a Carnegie Mellon. Nope. <laughs> oh, you Carnegie know, Hall, I Carnegie know, Mellon, Carnegie Hall, Carnegie Mellon, Carnegie School in Carnegie. Pittsburgh. Awesome. Riley Thanks. sang it at the freaking Carnegie Hall. How do you get there? Practice. 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 You can say that about any venue. How do you make it to Madison Square Garden as a basketball how athlete? Make, how do you make it to UCB? Practice. 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 Fucking yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that probably you're, Riley's right though. Kill him with kindness. Like, yeah. there's no reason to continue the bad seeds from past. Do you think that the guy who was right. like weirdly ousted is gonna audition? Uh, no. So the thing is, they haven't like ousted him yet. He's still in the group. So like, people have left because of him, but have done nothing about the fact that he's still in the group. That's kind of the drama. That's interesting. Got it. So oh, so yes. oh, so this group still exists, and members are trying to like flee ship. Yes. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. That makes that actually makes it a lot more juicy because if they get on your group, they will be abandoning their previous group. Mm-hmm. Precisely. You got to be the benevolent leader. So yeah, leader. you think kill them with kindness? Yeah, I think kill them with kindness because <laughs> also what you want to do is kind of absorb the good ones. I no, actually that's remember, what I, yeah. This has happened before where like yeah, members of other communities uh, and like when I was in improv and stuff in college would audition and it'd be like, yeah. oh, if you get on this, you're going to leave the other shit. Mm-hmm. And they're sort of like, it's like a Hail Mary being like, you guys are the real ones and yeah. I'll actually yep. leave everything else. So it's right. it's a rare position that you're put in, but I think you got to kill them with kindness and just be like, hey, we're so excited for you and whatever. Because then if they do get on, then that's yeah. great. But if they don't get on, then they have to kind of move with their tail between yeah. their legs back to the weird guy who's making mean comments. And if, if, if they get on and you poach them and then the other group is mad at you, it's like... You just got to kill You got to keep killing them with yeah. kindness because then they can't be mad at you. You're like, sorry. It's Our- like they auditioned for us and like we yeah. love their voice. And so it's like if they want to be here, like that's it's not, not my, my fault, fault that you guys suck. Not my fault. Kill yeah. them with kindness and then kill them at ICCAs. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yes. Win yes. That's award. Win it. Take it home. Senior year yes. too. So you're going to take home the gold. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you're the best. Um, You have the most amazing night and uh, have fun at auditions. Woo. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Living through my fingers, fingers all the time. I don't mind better. <laughs> Is that the lyrics? Nope. And what? But you keep going. Slipping through my fingers all the time. I had to wonder where you went. <laughs> if you're not watching the video. No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Miles, like, I had to give a little. Doing some I fingers. had to and one the day eyes were very much like dead. Now the ball's in your court. <laughs> yeah, that's right, honey. Step. I had to wonder where you went. This is that was tough. You saying step, <gasps> step, <laughs> step. Another caller. Let's take another call. Slipping through my fingers all the time. I have to wonder. Slipping through my fingers all the time. Um, my issue is that my instructor in my Zoom class has porn on his bookmarks in his browser, and I don't know if I should tell him or not. <laughs> Let me know. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! I've been hit. That I've been, been hit by a car. That is so like brain dead. Like, how could you? Mm. First of all, who is bookmarking a porn? Who's I know. Porn? Like, who would fucking <laughs> have a folder? Pull out Chrome. Pull out no, Chrome. No, because it's hard. Because like, who Pull would put Chrome. it in their news folder so it's hiding and not? Yo, in their phone I issue. thought it was gonna be like my instructor on Zoom is so hot, but like I don't know how to say anything, no. and it really took a turn. Unfortunately, not. No way. Hello. Yahweh. The Yahweh. Yahweh. This is a religious That's show. right. Yahweh. Thanks for calling for a person. We're here to call you back and talk to you about your weird little instructor that has a porn <laughs> a in his browser. Freak. He's a little freaky nasty. Yeah. He's watching a little boob <laughs> video. <laughs> boob video. It would be so funny if it was pornhub.com dash boob video. <laughs> I think that's actually fine. <laughs> Slash boobs. Slash um, boobs. Why don't you tell us uh, your situation? We have to give you a fake name. Jo Jeffrey? Jorfrey? Jorf. Um, let's go with Sandy. I dig it. I'm with it. S Sandy. <laughs> it's got to be Sandy. Sandy. Slipping through my Sandy all the Sandy, time. Sandy, I'm so sorry. So, um, hi, I I'm Riley. It. Um, Sandy, does Ed, does everyone else know? Okay, I tried to suss it out. I tried to ask somebody, and we were in like a breakout room, right? And she, like, we got cut off of the breakout room before she could even respond. So I don't know. That's so funny. <laughs> oh wow! So what class? Sorry, yeah, what, what class? class is it? It's a Spanish one class. Oh, so he's a grad student, probably, right? Like, I think that the usually the no, he's like he's like a little bit older. I think he's like in his fifties or so. So I think he's been around for a while. But yeah. Oh no! You'd think that he'd get it by now. <laughs> I think it's not your purview, but if you want to be a good Samaritan, you could say no. something. Here's what you got to do. It's because I think that like it's not only it's so embarrassing for him. Yeah. That like I don't yeah. know that if I knew this person in real life, I could like I would be shocked. I know Jeff, you're not my instructor, but if I was on a Zoom call with you and there was <laughs> porn bookmarked. I would be so embarrassed yeah. for you that it just, and we're on equal playing field. Right. And there's like a weird power dynamic that's more embarrassing for him because he's like the only one sharing his screen and stuff. So I think you got to be a exactly. good Samaritan. What is, the, when you say porn, what is being shown that you can see? Yeah. What is the wording that you can see? So, you know how you have like the bookmarks at the top of your practice? Yeah. Uh -huh. So when it's like the course, Zoom, and then porn, gay man, like that's, Thing like, he's searching a bunch. Like it just says like porn. It just says porn gay man. Yeah. It's like a, you know, like the category is like, that's what he's going to most visited. Uh -huh. By the way, how, how, how often do you think he needs to quickly? <laughs> yeah. Get, like it's bookmarked. It so he's like, I need to look at gay porn right now. No. Right now. Yeah. If you just type in P, it'll fill in pornhub.com slash gay men. He doesn't have the time. Yeah. He doesn't have the no. time. He he needs it's the same it. amount of clicks. He no, doesn't have the time. He doesn't have time to click, like to press the letter. One screen. last click. click. And then, yeah, see that, like that's what's shocking to me about this. He definitely this. doesn't know. My concern was going to be like, maybe he wants it to be bookmarked. No. Oh. But he doesn't know. Yeah, if, it's, so. if it's Zoom, the course and that, he doesn't and know they're visible. And if he's visible. in like his 50s, he doesn't know. He also, he did this on Tuesday for our class session and I started spiraling then Yeah. and today it was still there sure. so he does not know he, definitely he doesn't know okay, so here's, no. what, here's what you gotta do you gotta lead a horse to water so puppy can drink meaning because what are the other bookmarks you see he has a zoom one and he has a Netflix one or something it's mostly just school related stuff I wish that I like no I don't wish that I took a screenshot but it's mostly just school related stuff for his other classes and then that and then like Whole Foods 
Amazon delivery. <laughs> okay, so here's what you got to do. Hey, um, I see that uh, you have Whole Foods bookmarked. Um, I, th- I really like their granola. He's not going to know what No, mean. he's going to know. I what see he, what he's going to be like, oh, Whatever yeah, the one do. right next to it is. Yeah, yeah but like, don't say I like granola. You had that right the first half. It's, hey, I saw you have Whole Foods bookmarked. Just a reminder that the, we can see those bookmarks. No, I don't that's think you go too that embarrassing. Far. That's yeah. too embarrassing. That's like he's trying to, you don't want to jacuse the porn watcher. <laughs> I could even be like, hey, Prime Day, October 10th and 11th. So yeah. excited, right? Super excited for Prime Day. I see yeah, I see yeah. that you have it bookmarked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. I'm also a prime yeah. shopper. Yeah. I see that you uh, oh <laughs> gay porn. I see that you're Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I see, I see you. that you're an admir- oh, admirer of gay porn. Oh, porn. porn gay man. Can't wait porn for Prime um, Day. By the way, <laughs> porn gay man. <laughs> Porn gay man. Oh, I, I I love Prime Day and Porn Gay Man. Um, yeah. That's so interesting that you have that. Up I also there. like that the you granola. Have that. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't. If he's so clueless that he doesn't know that bookmarks are visible to the, the class, though, I don't think he's gonna pick up on it. If you're like, I love Amazon or Instacart. Like, I think you have to be like, if you're gonna say anything, I think just be straight up. That's, then I we might all disagree, but I would no. I would send, I would send an, email. an email and be like, hey man, just email. so you know, just so you know, your bookmarks can be seen by the class. Exactly. That's, that's, it. that's all yep. you have to say. You don't have to yep. say which right. ones. Yeah. And if he follows up and says, what do you mean? You can say. Drop it. <laughs> Forget <laughs> it. Yeah. Forget it. Say, Never mind. Why do you shop Amazon? Yeah. Are you supposed, like, you yeah. know. Why do you shop Porn Gay Man? Why do you shop Porn Gay I Man? I love their granola. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, oh yeah. God. <laughs> but I think that probably, yeah, like, you could go. For, those are the two pronged. That's a two pronged approach. approach email, yeah. for, email is good. Email is good. And, and, keep, and it very, keep it very brief. Are you talking in this class at all? Yeah, we do, like. Some one on ones with him where he's just like testing our oh. pronunciation and that kind of stuff. So I feel like there may be an opportunity there, but I don't know him. Like, don't that. say it in person. Definitely don't say it in person. You know, don't say it in a one on one. If anything, you're going to want to jacuse him in front of the class. Class, yeah, exactly. You're going right to want to be in the class. class. <laughs> don't, I don't like that you're trying to say what. I'm, no, we're no, all on such the same do it on page. One-on-one. I think do one on one in an email. Like, don't yeah. do it. Or you BCC, know. just so send the class an, knows, but he doesn't know the class. You knows. could send him an email during class. That's really good. No, because then he would see it in real time, and that would be so embarrassing. No, no, no. That opens up. No, I think I think either pointing out like whatever tab is next to it or discreet email. Email yeah. is good. Discreet email Stop. is not bad. Don't spiral out about it. This is not your cross to bear. Yeah, but it is his yeah. porn gay, gay man. man to bear to have to have <laughs> to watch to watch. It is his oh. right as an as, as 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 an American to watch this, yeah. but it is not your right as a student to have to know that it's there. Yeah, I don't need to see that. I don't need to know him like that. You don't even know him but you're like, like that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for calling in. Um, I do appreciate it. And uh, you have the greatest time. What are you doing tonight? Mixer? Smoking so much, man. I'm already there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Toke up, my friend. Toke All right. up. Toke so up. Much, everybody. Absolutely toke <laughs> up. What are you doing tonight? Mixer? Mixer? Well, <laughs> she's a cool college kid. Well, what else the fuck am I supposed to say? What, the fuck else? what are you what? up to tonight? What am I supposed to Ice say? Ice cream Mixer? social? What am I supposed to say? You going to the dining hall? <laughs> what the fuck else am I supposed to say? What the fuck ass. else am I supposed to say? Oh, you going to go play at the big game? The big baseball game? Soda fountain tonight? <laughs> you going to Coca-Cola, Pepsi? We got to take one, exactly one more call. Okay, this is another call. I feel like it just placed on the theme. Yeah. Hi, Miles. I need your help. The frat DJ told me that he was going to destroy my pussy, and <laughs> we haven't gotten quite there yet. He hung out with me once, and then we had a good time, and he sits next to me in class, but we just, I'm just missing, I need help to really, like, get him to destroy, destroy, you know, like, I need to destroy. We're not, we're not quite there yet. I need your help. He's some advice how to get destroyed. Cool. Bye. I'm going to sit this one out. I'm going to let you 
boys. We gotta get the frat boy DJ. To get to destroy, destroy some yeah. pussy. Destroy what it, advice yeah. do you destroy, want? Destroy, just, yeah. destroy, destroy. <laughs> hey, can yeah. you fuck me rougher? No, I think that she needs to help because you think the guy, the frat DJ said it in a fit of, D he was DJing and he was like. So you think he needs to be spinning turntables while he's he in was, I think that he needs a confidence boost or she needs to be like, hey, by the way, this door is still open. You think Don't that while he was open. DJing for a party, yeah. that he like pointed her out. He's like, hey, hey. I found love in hey, a you. hopeless place. Yes. Me? Hey. hey. I found love in a I'm gonna, place. I'm going to destroy your pussy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to destroy your pussy. We yeah. all heard the first time. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to head out. Destroy, I'm going to head out. Destroy, There's a lot of destroy. frat houses. I'm going to head out. Remix. <laughs> You know, I didn't know this was going to be the theme for the episode when we sat down today. You picked these. No fucking way. What the hell is up? Literally, what is good? You obviously called perfect person. Oh and I'm God. here to help you this because a frat, you're trying to get the frat DJ to, to freaking destroy that. And um, I'm obviously yes, here with Ryan. Yes, yes, yes. Destroy that what? Destroy that what? Don't want to. Don't totally destroy feel that comfortable what? saying it. Don't totally feel comfortable saying it. <laughs> destroy, that destroy, that destroy, that destroy that groin. Yeah. Destroy that groin. And I'm here obviously with Riley and Jeff, Free James. Uh, so tell us about the sitch. What's going on with the DJ and what frat was it? Was it one of okay, the good ones? Okay, um, Sigma Epsilon. Oh my God, Sig Ep. Sig Ep. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Uh, I go to a East Coast Southern-ish state school. Mm. Um, not your school, Miles, but a very similar school to your school. Oh, cool. Got um, it. I'm an English major, and he sat next to me in uh, Intro to Critical Reading. Love. Um, and he wants to critically read. Um, <laughs> there's some things I need you to know about this man, though. He just got out of a relationship, like a really long relationship. I think it was like two years. In college, crazy. So he was dating them from high school? He was dating them from high school? or I was guess, it? Okay, yeah. Got it, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. That's classic. And he has a mustache that is like the best mustache you have. Miles, your mustache does not even compare to this man's mustache. He's, it's so awesome. It's it's like 70s porn star all next sitting next to you. Awesome. Sorry, Jeffrey here. I also have a mustache. Jeff, Jeff also, has like kind of a porn, at, a Jeffrey 70s James porn stash. James on Instagram. Maybe Jeff. you could just see if I have a better mustache than this fucker. Dave, Jeffrey does have a good mustache. I don't know, man. So he had an event tonight, like a DJ event. Yeah. But I a party. like our fall break, and so I'm not there. Yeah. So I'm not there. And I told him I wasn't going to be able to go because I was going back home for our fall break. And he was like, he was like really sad. He's like, no, it's going to be so cool. Like you should have come. No, I wanted to. No, I was going to yeah. destroy that pussy. Oh, man. oh you know what? I, if you had come, I was going to destroy that I was going to destroy that pussy. Damn it. Exactly. I'm so mad. So we like hung out around oh, about like three weeks ago. Uh -huh. We like hung out. He was like, let's go for a drive and I was like sure oh, and I we drove around <laughs> and we ended up in the Taco Bell parking lot and it was oh. like we stayed there till like 4 a.m. we just talked and he seems like a really interesting guy I'm not gonna say cool because I don't think he's cool he is a DJ <laughs> he's a DJ exactly um but he seems like he's, he's got thoughts that's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a DJ, like, look, he's a musician. He's a lover of, of, of all things audio, music, feelings. Yeah. Yeah. He's a he's a music major, and then he's uh, minoring in English, so that's why he's in my class. How phone. have you guys hooked yeah. up? Yeah. Have you hooked up at all? No, we haven't at all. Oh, that and, and okay. uh, when he said he was going to de destroy de the de pussy, that, that pee, de that yeah. pee. When he said he was going to do that pee, now, did he say that over text or did he say that in person? He said that in person. He said that, like, during that, like, sitting in the car, like, oh. Wait, he said that in the car at Taco Bell? Yes, he said that in the car at Taco Bell because we were, like, making out and, like, you know, talking and whatever. And, but he was like, well, we're not going to do it in the car. Like, I'm a gentleman. That's basically what he said. I'm a gentleman. I'm going to destroy that <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, yeah. I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. I'm, I'm going to destroy that you, pussy. I'm absolutely going to ravage that beaver. I would, I'm yeah. a gentleman. I would never destroy that pussy in a car. I would only destroy exactly. that pussy in a dorm. Exactly. So is so the issue like, that so it's like, like you, you're you're ready for it to, to get there and it just hasn't happened? Exactly. And then ever since then, I've been like, hey, like you 
free this weekend. Like, what's going on? He's just like, I'm just so busy right now. Like, you don't even know. And then I, he sits next to me in class every day. But um, some days when he skips, he'll text me and be like, hey, I'm not going to be in class today. Like, whatever. And we'll have a little conversation. But the day before I left, Wednesday, he did not come to class and did not text me. I have a quick thought. Yeah, please, Riley. I wonder if, like, he kind of, he, he, Icarus, Flew too close no, to the I sun. To start the breeze, he's by like, the way. I'm gonna yeah. fucking destroy that yes. gash. And I'm can gonna you? like go and nonstop. You? And then he like suddenly is like, oh shit! Like I can I only minorly yeah. like. He's the boy who know, cried, wreck just it up cried a little wolf. bit. He's the boy who cried pussy. He's the boy who exactly. Cried pussy. That, that, maybe that's what it is. I think that's correct. Because look, if you're gonna say something like that, that's a big it's swing. A, it's you like, gotta back it up. It's a big swing. Yeah. And then he's like, at the end of the end of your date, he's probably like, oh my god, why did I say that? Like I that's, do, yeah. that's so <laughs> stupid. Was also, he was probably like, it, I think it's a mix of like, it's a big swing and it's probably in that state. It's like, you're making out in the car. He's probably like so horny that yeah. like, he's, yeah. you know, you're in the throes of whatever and you say random shit. So where, what, what are you going to do? Like where, where are you, where's, what are you feeling? Exactly. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to feel. I thought we had like a little connection. <sighs> I think you got to ice the DJ down if you want him to D that P. You want here's the thing. A proposal to he, you know, That's here's the thing. Right there. You gotta ice down the situation because he, as he's thinking, I yeah, guarantee he's what he's thinking is he's nervous as yeah. shit. And I know that I know this type of guy. DJs in their twenties, trust me, I know all of them. I know all of them. You know this guy by name. <laughs> this is Trust Troy. Me, I know this every is... single. One. I'll look, look. I'll name a couple names for you, and you just tell me when to stop. Troy, Trent, Daniel, David, Dennis, oh, okay, Davis, Mavis, Faden, Davis, Faden, Faden, Clark, Slash, Slash, Nomin, Destiny. By the way, Thunder, Fartness, Fartness, <laughs> Fartness. Um, but I'll just say that I think he's nervous and I yeah. think he probably is like not wanting, he, he's like maybe busy a lot, but he's also probably like, Oh shit. Like I do want to hang out, but like I sort of buttered this up yeah. and this I wish is you should it. just be like, Hey, do you want to come over and watch a movie? I know exactly what's happening. What's up? He lost his virginity to his high school sweetheart. He's the, she's the only person he's ever had sex with. You would be the second and he oh. overplayed his hand and he's nervous. That's, I think a really good point, Jeff. He seemed really confident, though. He seemed really confident. I'll say this. Um, what, have we given you a name yet? No, right? Cran. Cran. So, Cran, I'll say this. <laughs> this boy, you, you, I know you said he's like, oh, yeah, he's so confident. He's 21, 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I've been a 20 year old boy. And I have made promises sexually that I could not, <laughs> make, that I could not, yeah. I could not dare to 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 come to task for. It's just it's the comes of the territory, right? Spell check. What? C U M. There you oh, go. God. So it just is like when you're when you are a young man and you're wanting to seem cool. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing cooler than telling someone you're going to destroy that pussy. And it's not cool to say this, kids. But I will say that it's probably something he said because he thought it would sound cool. And obviously, it seems to have hooked Worked. you in, line yeah. and sinker. You really enjoyed that. Big promise. Big exactly. promise. But now he's got to He's got to come to, 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 to task. Yeah. And I think that um, probably a good thing to do would be like, hey, I'm at this bar. Like, you know, whatever. Like, if you want to hook up with this guy, be like, hey, I'm at this bar. You should just come hang out or yeah. whatever. Or like, hey, I'm at my house watching a movie. The, the ball you is come, in your court. You want to come, like, whatever. But make it casual. You know, you okay. know what I mean? Okay. I, yeah. I agree. Cause it's just too much pressure. But yeah, how are you feeling? I feel like, yeah, that's good advice. I'm just, I'm just also nervous because I'm not really friends with any of his friends that he's his little group, like his frat. I'm not really, yeah. I don't know any of those guys. I don't know any of those people that he's hanging out with. And so when I say, if I were to be like, Hey, I'm at this bar, like, Hey, I'm at this party. You should come up. Yeah. Like he's not going to come alone. I feel like if he is going to get to fuck you, he's going to come alone. He'll come I alone. Literally, yeah, no, you if wouldn't there bring is the people. promise of him fucking you, he, he, if you build it, he will come. No, when by I, the way, yeah. Spell check. <laughs> See you, um. I when, when, when I was twenty, when I was twenty, Cran, I I was I was enamored with this woman. She was a musician. She said, "Hey, I have a show on X date uh, at this venue across the city." And for the prospect of destroy, destroying that, pee, that pussy, yeah. I went 
and didn't bring any of my friends. Yes. Stood next to her friends, danced yeah. at her concert. Mm -hmm. Especially at that age, you you don't have the I feel like you don't have the life experience to tell you that you're not good enough. So, no, yeah, you'll uh, he'll, he'll go. He'll, he'll go. Yeah. He'll, he'll definitely go. go. He'll go. If he'll you're just go. he'll go. Spell check. Geo. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's got to be our our firm stance as a show, and we we put the whole legal backing behind that mm -hmm. stance, and um, we're excited for this guy to DTP. Yep. And if he doesn't, if you're like, I'm at this place, or I'm at my place, and you should come over, like, and if he doesn't come, then Miles single handedly is like liable for that. Yeah, I can be held liable. I yeah. yeah. Uh, and and I and I deserve that, and it means that I have to find somebody else at your college to who's do a that DJ to DTP. <laughs> to, and it could be Trent, it could be Troy, it could be Fahrenheit. It could be Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. It might end it up being be Fahrenheit. It might not have been Fahrenheit. Roy Orbison. It Fahrenheit could be is not the first Fahrenheit in his family, by the way. He's like the, what is it, the 400... Shut up. 51st <laughs> Shut up. in his lineage. Okay, yeah. We like that. <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a good joke. No, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. No, you, it Cran. wasn't, Cran. Jeff's on no, cancel. <laughs> Um, well, thank check. you so much for calling in, and uh, this will be something that I will I need to hear the update for. So uh, let me know how this turns out, and text the uh, phone line so I can give you a call back for the Platinum Show. Of course. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really just I needed I needed that man advice. I needed to see it from his perspective, and I really appreciate that. Absolutely happy to give it, and thank you so much for calling in. You have a great night. Thank you. You as well. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. You're the best. Bye. Men never get compliments. Yeah, wow. Men never Honestly, get compliments. Honestly, that was kind of like, that was crazy that she, that was Riley Erasure. Riley Erasure. Riley sure. That might be her, yeah, her downfall. Yeah, that could be her downfall. <laughs> Mine? Hers. Fran's. Fran. Fran. You think that he's going to DTP? Horny I think episode. that he really is a horny episode. I think he's a college DJ. I think he is bad at sex. I agree. I think he, by the way, yeah. <laughs> she was like, he no, he was really confident. It's like I was twenty one. This flag. is the I was twenty one, and I assure you, it will be underwhelming. It is no, the confidence be, should be during, not before. It, it, I think that's the thing. I think he'll be overly confident during, no, and it's going to oh, be bad. Maybe. Oh, no. I think he's going to be is, like, I know what I'm doing. I'm destroying this pussy, and oh, she's going to be feeling nothing. No, that's not, not enjoyable. <laughs> we have one final segment <laughs> uh, that we have to get through. We have to get and we through. do have to get, <laughs> have through, to get it. through it. And we do have to get um, through it. And then, by the way, our reward for getting through the segment. Being late to our lunch. I love lunch being is, here. Second lunch. lunch. Lunch is friends. Dinner is friends. Oh, we hey, are second lunch. Late. We are going to be late. Industry. Hopefully they have a table. Boop. They won't. Well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. This is obviously a segment we like to call Get Real, where we force a genuine moment in an effort to learn more about each other and ourselves. And I got to tell you, it's been an honor here with you all. And I was wondering what... Um, what is something that has been making you wowed recently? Wowed? <laughs> Jeff's, Jeff's eyes so I, were the size of pies. <laughs> what is something that has been making you feel like alive recently? Like you're just like, whew. Um, I went to a funeral two weeks ago. Yeah. And... Uh, a lot of my family is in Ireland and so it was my first Irish wake. Oh, wow. And there's something about the commute. And I know that a lot of different cultures have a lot of different cultures. Every culture has their rituals around death, but there's something um, that's, the, there was something that made me feel very alive and very grateful about being able to experience community and ritual around death and grieving and yeah. life and all of that in a way that I, um, was very, very, very touching. That is really touching. There's also something that that's really cool too, because I feel like um, I don't know to, to link something as ceremonial as death to yeah. like a heritage is I think really important and cool. Yeah. Um, and makes you I don't know I would imagine that makes you feel connected to like a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean it's like it's such a if you guys are listening if you don't know what an Irish wake is it's like the person who has died their body is laid in their house for like two to three days. And oh, wow. family and friends and just like the neighborhood can come. Anyone can come and like yeah. pay respects. And you're just sitting chatting and like having a lot of tea and sharing stories while the person is just lying in the room with you. And oh, so wow. it's like, yeah. And so yeah. it's like if you haven't, it's not my first body I've been around, dead body I've been around, but it's like it was my first kind of the uh, being in the ritual of that. And so it's like 
you know, if, if you haven't been around that, it can seem like very intense, but it's oh, it's yeah. very cool. Yeah, it's a it's a surreal feeling to be around something like that. I also have been around mm-hmm. a body. And yeah, it's very weird because I think that like you sort of are afraid of it until you're there, and you're like, this is a weirdly calm. Yes, and it's uh, that's kind of what's strange about it. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Anyway, Jeff, what about you? What's something that's been making you feel alive recently? Um, I got a cat. She wows me every day because she sort of makes her own fun in my studio apartment. And so to see something experiencing joy on the most basic level. That's very sweet. That's really nice. Kind of like (laughs) reminds me of the simple pleasures of life. I think that having an animal in your house is actually really like made me feel like it also it was in a lot of ways training for the baby. And I think people say that, but it truly was like it was like I've become slightly more responsible because yeah. of her. You have to be. Yeah. You, you just have to be. I was on time today. You were on time today. Low fucking Riley dog. also is responsible, but it was, there was a delay and it was okay. But if she had a dog, she would have been here before me. That's not necessarily true. You have a <gasps> lizard though, a bearded dragon. You have a bearded dragon. You have a bunch of lizards. <laughs> you have a bunch of dragons. <laughs> I have a, I have like at least, I've lost count. The last time I checked was 28. I love starting a rumor that you have lizards. <laughs> that you have a bunch of lizards. <laughs> and you have a bunch of bearded dragons, right? <laughs> oh, Riley Ann Spot? She's that, that podcast where she has like a bunch she of has, lizards. Oh, she's like the weird lizard one. Your house stinks. <laughs> she's that podcaster whose house stinks because of the lizards, because <laughs> of all the lizards. On account of the bearded dragons. So much dragons. shedding. Um, Molting. That's so Molting. <laughs> We call their house the vo- volcano, volcano because it's all molten. <laughs> that's very um, good. Wow, that's so funny. Uh, but yeah, no, having a dog, I think, also is making it makes me feel wowed. Yeah, and also like anytime you feel not joy. Yeah. Uh, at least, I mean, all animals, I think, is re- it's a rewarding experience looking out after them and getting love from them because you provide for them. Yeah. But also with cats specifically, like the purring that they do tunes into a certain specific frequency that mm. like has the same exact healing properties as like Reiki or something. Oh, wow. Really? So cats often like sit on their owner's chest. My cat does this all the time and will like just like bl- slow blink at me, which is them smiling because they don't mm. have the muscles to smile on their faces. So it's her just being like, I love you and purring oh, on my chest or right, right really at my heart. Nice. That's really nice. And so yeah, it's good. My dog sleeps with us and it, it does make me feel like I'm just like, oh, it is like this pack mentality. Yeah, exactly. It's mm-hmm. really interesting. Yeah. Um, well, guys, that's the show. Let's have some beef. Let's have and some shrimp. beef, gang. Thank you so much for being here. Where can people follow you and what do you got going on? I'm on Instagram at Riley Anspa, R-E-I-L-L-Y-A-N-S-P-A-U-G-H. I'm on Twitter at uh, X at nice. Riley Coyote mm. um, and I have a HeadGum podcast that's not the HeadGum podcast it is called Review Review um, and that is a long form improv comedy podcast you might know it Jeff you, we used to host it together that's but right. now it's my dear uh, buddy Alfred Bardwell Evans and I and we actually have a live show coming up our first live show Woo! Woo! we're gonna be um, at the New York Comedy Festival Sunday November 5th mm. at 5.30pm at the Littlefield in Brooklyn we got special guests Ryan Gall and Kylie Brakeman. <gasps> oh, very fun. So you can go uh, tickets. There are link in my bio. If you go uh, look up Littlefield or New York County Festival Re- Review Review, it's also on HeadGum. Um, yeah. And also uh, HeadGum is doing a live stream D&D that I'm a part That's of. That's right. That seems so uh, fun. Which will be fun. Hosted, DM'd by Caldwell Tanner. It's like, we got Gabrus. I mean, it's like, it's it's a really fun, just all it's that info's on HeadGum as well. And it's on D. October 20th. So that's, well, me. At Jeffrey James on Instagram, the HeadGum Podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. There's episodes with both of these fuckers. <laughs> so if you want a nice intro, I think that was like two months ago. We, yeah. we all did a, mm-hmm. I think it's called HeadGum After Dark. Good intro. With Melanie. Episode with Melanie yeah. Bracewell. That's right. Um, and we have a Patreon, patreon.com yes, forward slash Riley and Jeff. Oh yeah. So watch that space. Watch that space. I Watch need that some space. bulgogi. Let's get some, some bulgogi, galbi. people. Everyone, galbi. if you have a problem, just remember that no matter where you are and who you are, your perfection is, is of the eight. utmost importance. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>